Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a spend the day with me style video and I will be sharing my fall stay at home mom schedule or routine. Now every day of the week is a little bit different because I have school aged kids 6 and 8 and we have lots of things going on after school but I'm going to be sharing a typical Monday with you so hopefully you enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you're new. And today's video is also a collab with my sweet friend Brianna Kay. She has two kiddos, Landon and Presley, and her husband is Adam. And she's going to be sharing her day in the life of a stay-at-home mom schedule for fall and what it looks like on a normal day that her kids go to school as well. Now, not only is Brianna such a great friend, she is one of the most inspirational people you will ever see on YouTube, and she puts so much work into every single video that she does. She even creates lots of printables that you can download from her blog and use in your own home to keep track of your cleaning and other things that have to do with mom life and just getting things done around your house. So y'all go check her out. I'll have a link to her video in the description box and make sure that you subscribe and tell her that I sent you. And if you're coming over from Brianna's channel, then welcome. I'm so, so glad that you're here. I hope you'll love my content and consider subscribing. And if you do, make sure to say hey in the comments and let me know where you're from. All right, so for my normal weekday routine, I start my morning at 6 a.m., walk straight to the bathroom, and brush my teeth because for some reason I can't do anything else until my teeth are brushed. And then I'll get dressed. I usually just throw on some leggings and a t-shirt or workout clothes just so that I can take the kids to school. And on this day, I'm actually doing a grocery pickup, so I wanted to make sure I was not in my pajamas. And then I'll actually head upstairs to the kids' rooms so that I can start getting them dressed for school. On most Mondays we actually eat muffins but the kids got some new cereal this weekend that they'd never had before so they wanted to try that so I did let them it was super easy anyways and I didn't have to bake anything so we did that this morning chocolate cinnamon toast crunch Yum. what's in your cereal miss Chrissy Gracie what's in your cereal Unicorns. All right, let's fix the hair. Why are you talking like that? Like goose. While the kids are eating breakfast, I start packing lunches and snacks. And most days, Gracie June actually packs a lunch, so I'm packing her some leftover pizza today. And then Kaysen eat school lunch most of the time we kind of go through their school lunch calendar at the beginning of the week and decide which days that he wants to eat and then I start packing snacks and we have so many snack options I like to mix up their snacks throughout the week and just kind of make a bunch of different trail mixes of things so today I'm just putting some goldfish some Halloween pretzels that I got from Target a few candy corn and then some of the goofy candy gummies that we got while we were at Disney After everything's packed up and the kids have eaten their breakfast, they'll go brush their teeth and then I'll start on Gracie June's hair and most days I'll do something to pull at least the front back or do a full braid, something like that just to get her hair out of her face and then we will head to school. Bye. 
after dropping the kids off at school on Monday mornings, I'll go straight to Walmart and do my grocery pickup. So I try to go ahead and do my order on Sunday night so that way I can schedule my pickup for between 7 and 8 the next morning because by the time I drop the kids off and head to Walmart, I can usually get there right before 8 o'clock. Now some weeks this does end up happening on a Tuesday because I didn't get my order in on time, but I do aim for doing it for Monday mornings. So that's all the groceries that I got for this week. I will have to go get a rotisserie chicken for dinner tomorrow night because I'll show you guys our menu for this week. So we have, we had chili, chili yesterday. We did some chili with chili dogs and then we'll have leftovers because we have a ton left over. So instead of doing my, uh, Mexican Monday, we're gonna do leftovers this week. A rotisserie chicken and some salad on Tuesday. Tacos on Wednesday. We're moving tacos there and we're actually gonna do carne asada beef tacos. Then Thursday we're gonna do chicken fettuccine alfredo, Friday pizza, and then Saturday we have a little Halloween party to go to. And then of course the next thing I'll do is go ahead and put all of my groceries away. Oh God, here she comes. But you'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be after all the groceries were put away, I went and changed into some workout clothes and then on Monday mornings I post my videos at 10 a.m. So around 9 I'll sit down and finish up any last minute touches before the video goes live. And then that first hour I try to hang out in the comments with everybody and respond to everyone that posts in that very first hour. And then the rest of the day I'll pop on and off of my phone to try to respond to comments as much as possible. But then I'll get started on my morning cleaning routine. A lot of times I'll make my bed before I actually leave in the mornings, but some days I don't do it until later. So I'm making up my bed and picking up around my room, and then I'll go into the kitchen and clean up in there as well. But she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go. She will never know. Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and start my workout for today. I've shown you guys I've been doing lots of HIIT workouts and running a few days a week, but I actually decided to go ahead and do the Beachbody Guide workout from Kayla Itzines. It's called the Sweat App, and it just is easy for me to keep track of my workouts and doing different routines without having to come up with my own exercises. So I've been logging those every day this week, and let me just tell you, I am so stinking sore. And then while I'm working out, I like to watch TV, so it makes the time go by a little bit faster. And on this day, I was catching up on Grey's Anatomy. Y'all let me know if you still watch this show too. Now, I did do this workout a few years ago. It may have been only a year and a half ago now, but I love this workout. I love the app because I can keep track of everything, and it's just kind of motivational to put in that you did a workout that day. And there's only three workouts a week, plus your low intensity exercise, which would be walking or running. But you have on Monday is legs day, on Wednesday is supposed to be arms and abs, but I actually do that on Thursday instead. And then Fridays is full body. For each workout, each day of workouts, you have four circuits to complete. And so it takes about 28 minutes because each circuit is seven minutes long. It shows you exactly in the app how to do each workout. So I love that. And so, I don't know, I just feel like it's super easy to follow and I'm excited to hopefully get through it this time because I definitely did not get through the entire workout the last time I did it. So 
I have showered. I did not wash my hair, but I did use that dry shampoo and I liked it. I like the way it smelled, but it still gave you that like, um, it was just a little too light on my hair. So it made my hair look gray. So I had to rub it in really good. So I am gonna try that Batiste for brunettes. I feel like that'll be a little bit better um, based on y'all's recommendations, of course. And so my Walmart did not have it. So I'm gonna order it on Amazon and just see how it is. But I'm about to attempt to make some avocado toast. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but I've never made it before. I've just been so intimidated by it. I don't know if y'all are the same way. Y'all probably are not, but um, I'm gonna try it. Well, I've seen lots of my friends share videos. Caitlin Nyer, she does avocado toast all the time. So anyways, I've watched it over and over again. I finally got the stuff. I'm gonna use the new bread that I got. So hopefully it turns out really good, so. I'm gonna get to making that real quick. Well, this bread turned out amazing. I love the bread, but my avocados were not ripe. So I ended up just scrambling some eggs and cheese and putting that on top with some salt and pepper. And it was delicious. And I will have to try it again to do avocado toast later in the week. Now, like I said earlier, most of the time we do Mexican Mondays, but we had leftover chili, so I'm gonna put this in the crock pot and we're gonna have this for dinner later tonight. Now it's around two o'clock and I usually leave between two and 2.30 to go get in car rider line to pick up my kids from school. You're my heart's desire just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay. Alright, got the kiddos. Tell them what you're watching. None of your business. That's yeah, what tell them what's the movie that you're Space. watching. Space Jam. Space Jam. Hold on, we're about to go in. We're at Dollar Tree. What are we getting at Dollar Tree? Toys and no. stuff. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna do some boo baskets, so we're about to run in. Do not tell anybody. You're crazy. All right, so we're about to run into Dollar Tree and get some stuff for boo baskets, and we're gonna go boo some people tonight in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, so don't tell them, right? <laughs> Kaysen, you gonna help I pick it out? this video a thumbs down. Uh, you're not nice. Hey, Gracie June, what did you say I'm gonna be getting soon in a few months? A silver play button. It was so funny last night. She looks at me and she goes, Mommy, probably in a few months, you'll be getting a silver play button. I was Wait, like, oh, I don't want a girlfriend, Mommy, but that would be awesome. How many subscribers do you have? We're almost at 80,000 subscribers. But we got to get to 100,000 before a silver play button. Where would we put it? Um, In your face. <laughs> You're not being very nice today. On your wall. On the wall? That would be cool. All in right, room. let's no. go into Dollar Tree. No, let's put it in my room. Your room? Yeah. You just told me I needed to get a thumbs down on this video. You think it should go in your room? Yeah, I subscribed to your channel already. Oh, you subscribe, so you should get the silver play button? Yeah. Okay, so that means that everybody that's watching, I should be able to give them a silver play button too, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's go into Dollar Tree, guys. Yes, you do. I just want to love you, I just want to hold you. Skeleton arm. Skeleton arm. Hands. Okay, we're not going to get everything. We got to pick, we got to be wise about it, Gracie June. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, you got to do homework. All right, these are all the things that we got from the Dollar Tree for our boo baskets. We got these little skeleton hands, a spider, some stickers, these two little ghosts, they sing trick or treat, smell my feet, some little candy corn snacks. The kids picked out all this stuff, by the way. The skeleton head, skeleton spider, some little pumpkin decorating kits, some glow sticks. Vampire teeth that come with blood candy, I guess that is. Hi. Let me see it. Ah! Oh, and Kaysen got this ball. Ah! Hey, Chance. I got blood. Howdy, neighbor. You got blood? Yeah. 
All right, so I'm gonna put these little boo baskets together and we're gonna take them and boo some people tonight. Oh, and I did get these from Target that we're gonna throw into these boo baskets as well. I've shown these in another video, but then they also have these little pencil sticks. Now, as soon as we get home, we will go ahead and start on their homework, get it knocked out. On this day, it's a little later than we normally do because we went to Dollar Tree. So most days we get home from school around three o'clock and they go ahead and knock out their homework. While I sit with Gracie June and help her make sure that she's doing the right thing with her homework, Kaysen is picking out what homework he wants to do because he gets a little bingo sheet each night. So he'll do one reading activity on his bingo sheet and one math activity. So as soon as we're done, we're gonna go ahead and start on Kaysen's homework as well. Smart, keep going. All right, so which one's bigger, 14 or 41? Very good. Four plus three. Four, five, six, seven. Very good. Yay! On this day, Kaysen chose to do read to someone younger than you and then also teach math facts to someone younger than you. He usually chooses this at least once a week. I don't know, I think he just likes teaching Gracie June. But as soon as all their homework is done, I put it into our drawer that's in our china cabinet. This is where we keep all of our homework. It's kind of like our little homework station. This chili is looking and smelling so good. I will have the recipe for this one down in the description box in case you're interested. Now the rest of the evening on a Monday is pretty relaxed. The kids will play with friends or go outside and just kind of hang out because we don't have any sports in the afternoon, but this is the one day of the week that we don't have anything going on after we have dinner. All right, so I just came inside. I look kind of gross. My hair is so frizzy now from being out there. It's still so humid here in Georgia. But um, I just wanted to hop on here and just chat with you guys for a minute. Just sit down and have a little talk because I want to give you guys some channel updates. So the last week I took vacation and basically was gone off of here for a whole week. So I had like a little unplugged time with my family and it was so nice but I'm so excited to be back on here and sharing this information with you as I was having this like vacation I was thinking about a lot of things with my channel and so one of the things that I have never done since I started my channel is I've never had I've never told you guys I have a set day and time that I'm gonna post videos I've done that because I didn't want to like lock myself in and I'm the type of person that if I don't do something that I say I'm gonna do that I feel really bad about it and I stress about it and all that. So I've never done that. But after having this little break, I decided that I want to have a set schedule just because one, I want to make sure that I'm organized and like it'll keep me accountable for posting my videos twice a week. And then another thing is I want you guys to know when to expect my videos and what type of video to expect on what day. So I'm gonna have a set schedule. I'm super excited about it and I hope you guys are too. But what I did was I ended up doing a little poll over on YouTube, the community tab. And I asked you guys what day of the week you like to watch YouTube the most. And so the, the day that got the most votes was Monday. So I'm going to keep my cleaning videos on Monday. So Monday's going to be Motivation Monday. And you're going to expect a cleaning video on Mondays from me. And now then the second most requested day was Fridays. So because I... I don't know, I really enjoy posting on Fridays. I feel like it's a lot of fun to end the week with a video and then have the weekend to hang out with the family. So Fridays are gonna be Fun Fridays over here on my channel. So what you can expect on Fun Friday is any other type of video that I feel would be fun. A lot of them are gonna be spend the day with me type videos because those are a lot of fun for me to film. And a lot of you say that you really enjoy them because I can put some cleaning motivation, workouts, recipes, hauls, um, all kinds of different things in those videos. And 
they're just so much fun for me to make and I feel like you guys get to see some family life as well and get to know us a little bit better but if I'm not posting a spend the day with me style video or a day in the life whatever you want to call it if I'm not posting one of those types of videos then you can expect to see like an Amazon haul or routine style video um, a bunch of recipes so anything like that would also be considered a fun Friday video so basically anything else that I want to put on my channel will go up on Fridays and also any requests that you guys have so a lot of the video ideas I actually get from y'all and you leave me comments telling me you want to see this or that or you want to know how I do this and so a lot of times I will throw those ideas into a spend the day with me but then also I'll make other videos that are just on that one thing so like when I did my how I meal plan for the month video that was one that was highly requested and I just figured I wouldn't throw it into a spend the day with me I wanted that one to be a completely separate video so people could go back and search for it and it would be easy to find so hopefully all of this makes sense and hopefully you'll be excited about it and be able to actually know what days to expect my videos and all of that so I'm really excited it's gonna get me organized hopefully um what else was I gonna say oh okay I remember the other thing I was gonna say so someone commented on one of my videos the other day that they unsubscribed from my channel because my channel has turned into a cleaning channel and that's not what they came for and subscribed for and I just want to say that my channel has always been cleaning like since I started I started with cleaning and I had other videos like home decor and things like that but it's basically the same thing I'm sharing now it's just that some videos I don't put out anymore because YouTube won't push that out for me and this is kind of how I make money to support my family so I quit teaching I had an Etsy shop basically YouTube took over my Etsy shop so I don't do that anymore and when I quit teaching my Etsy shop was how I helped out with my family like I always use that money for groceries and extra extracurricular activities and all that kind of thing so that's where my YouTube money goes now so if I put out a video and it bombs then I'm not making anything off of that video it just helps me to make videos that do well and it helps me to provide for my family it helps us for vacations it helps me to be able to spoil my kids teachers and to go above and beyond for my friends and my family be able to do things like that be able to do giveaways for you guys which I wish I could give every single person like so much I just wish I could just give so much to you guys y'all don't even know I'm so so grateful for you and and because of y'all I am able to stay at home with my kids and help provide for my family so cleaning is always gonna be here that was what started my channel and that's what YouTube loves on my channel so I'm gonna keep doing it I love it I feel like the motivation is amazing and if you watch my other friends that do videos some of you do videos on cleaning it is it's so motivational but that's not all I want to share I want to be able to share other things too that have to do with mom life and things that uplift you and encourage you and I just want this to be a big community where we can all hang out we can talk in the comments not just me and you but I want you guys to be able to connect in the comments and just be a place where you can come for inspiration and not everything that I do is great like I'm not good at everything and I'm not gonna be perfect and you guys know that already I say this all the time and not everything that works for me is gonna work for you but not everything that you say is gonna work for me either so I just want you guys to know that this is a place where you can come for encouragement and hopefully leave with a smile I want to always be positive and I don't like to share negative things on here things go on that I don't ever talk about but that's because I have made it a goal of mine to be positive and uplifting and encouraging on here and I hope that you guys feel that when you watch my videos so anyways rant over <laughs> I'm gonna go because it is now 5 30 we usually eat dinner around this time I'm gonna go we're gonna start on dinner and which it's already done it's in the crock pot but we're gonna go eat dinner and then we're gonna go boo a couple of our friends once it gets a little darker outside <laughs> Yeah, we follow
God, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for this family. I thank you for my little girl, Gracie, my little boy, Casey, and my beautiful, young wife. Hey, you bless us through our lives. We can serve you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You should have just told me young Gracie. You want to go to church? Yeah. Oh, get some Fritos. I think I need more cheese. <laughs> Mommy's gonna have bad farts tonight. Oh, From what? It's chilly. Oh my gosh. Who farted? Why'd you put so much in here? It's chilly? Yeah. Are we gonna save it? Yeah, just freeze it. What does what chili do to you? Stop being that. Beans, beans are gonna be hard. The more you eat, the more you. Fart. <laughs> Jason picked the mummy. We have still, we cut them in half. We still have some of our Disney snacks. Oh, we have these Fig Newtons, Gracie June. We still have some of our Disney snacks in here. What's this one? So lots of candy corn ones. Oh, this is a half eaten, or a third eaten candy corn. I did that. A pumpkin. All the mummies are gone now. That was the last mummy. You ain't your mummy. <laughs> you want to eat? You want to eat? Now after dinner, we're going to go ahead and do a quick cleanup. I am loading the dishwasher. I like to run our dishwasher at night, so I'll go ahead and set the dishwasher for a seven hour delay so it runs during the night so we can have our baths and everything before all the hot water is taken from the dishwasher. And then every Monday night, Chance will also take out the trash and any extra recycling that still needs to be put in the big trash cans outside. And then he'll roll the trash cans to the curb because our trash pickup comes on Tuesdays. Yeah. <laughs> All right, kids are inside. Uh oh. There go the geese. Kids are inside. I'm going to pitch chance. A ball. Let's see if he can hit it. What? Okay. Oh! Playing with the kids' toys. <laughs> and now it is 7.15 p.m. So we are going to go boo our friends. These are the baskets and what they look like all put together. And they are so stinking cute. So we're about to take our boo baskets. We got this one. Kason's got his back here. I don't want to sit back here by myself. You're not. Daddy's about to get that back there with you. So we're gonna go boo some people. Are y'all ready? After I ate my cookie. Are you ready? Good. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Taking this one. Kason's running up there. Kason's putting it up there on the front porch. It's only fun if you ring the doorbell. Oh, so hey, they're backing up. See us. Did you ring it? Did you ring the doorbell? All right, we're back. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's fix those glasses. How was it? Good. Was it fun? Mm -hmm. Were you scared? Can we get this off? I will, but were, sure. were you scared when you were running up to the door? Yeah? Sure. Were you scared they were going to oh come out? Oh my gosh, you just dropped that guy glitter everywhere. Huh. Glitter. Story of glitter. life. Turn this up. <laughs> it was fun and exciting, full of thrills and chills. Kason almost killed Grace June by knocking her over. <laughs> but it was all right. He knocked her over, kept going. Gracie, did yeah. you have fun? 
She's climbing on the sink. Oh my gosh. Did you have fun booing people? It's a, ah, that's a yes. From the Darlies to you, good night. <laughs> okay, all right, we're about to go take baths and go to bed. So thanks for watching. Wait, wait. I'm trying to get oh, in. you took your teeth out. I'm trying to get in the picture. But oh, you know, there you are. Oh. You wanna come get in? Uh -uh. All right, fine. we're going to bed. There. So uh -huh. that was it for this spend the day with us. We hope you loved it and get to see our little routine. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.